Hi, it's Richard from FunFit Adventure. We're here for the week, just in Scotland, east of Pit Lockery, staying on a nice field in a woodland clearing, and no power. Just a bit of a bit of a wild camp with uh, with just a tap um, across on the other side of the field to, to service us. So what we thought we'd do is show you our setup and uh, and what we've got here for the week. So we're here with the uh, the bush camp. This is the the Pro Camp Bush Camp Explorer, and that's the one we've brought away with us. So we're also trying out some new bits and pieces while we're here. So let's give you a, a little walk around and show you what we've got. So first of all, on the side here, this is a, a new awning that we've been trialing this week. So it's a straight out awning, just rolls out from the uh, the bag that's attached on the side of the caravan, comes out, creates this sort of square frame structure with your awning over the top. And then what we've done is we've also got one of these tents that you can hang underneath. So this just clips onto the, the frame that's created when you pull out the side awning and uh, this is a waterproof tent it's got a sealed in ground sheet as well that zips zips in zips off and go and have a look inside and see what you think oh, shall i open the door there sarah <laughs> so it's got a mesh door and then uh, and then the waterproof cover that comes over the top and that's the that's the inside. So it gives you a bit of sort of living room space really on one side of the caravan. We've also rigged some lights in there as well that operate off the, off the caravan. So let's have a look around the front. So on the front here, I've shown you this before, but we've got the, the 100 watt solar panel that we've got molded onto the, the front of the caravan. Now, as we're here for the week without any power, I've also brought down here a, a portable solar panel. So this is a 80 watt solar panel, just folds up and that actually connects back into the same solar controller as the solar panel on the front of the caravan. So I've bypassed the solar controller that comes as part of the, the portable unit, taken both solar panels, all connect back in parallel into the solar controller, and uh, and that's kept us going for this for this week. So let's have a look around the side here. Of course, we've got the big storage box on the front, which is just brilliant. We've been able to carry all all the gear, all the walls if we will be using them. The the awning on the side here has got all of the walls that we could put up but it's not really hasn't really been a windy site we've had a bit of rain this week but you know a bit of mix of sunshine and rain so this is the Ostend Foxwing awning we do have another video showing how to how this goes up and how to put it out but again it comes out from a bag on the on the side and it wraps all the way around behind the kitchen and clips onto the roof rack on the other side so let's have a look on the inside this is our main door. Have a look in there. There's the bedroom all set up. Plenty of space for all the clothes, which are all packed into the cupboards. So we tend to keep all of our gear packed away in the cupboards during the week, frees up space in the car. And we've had enough power to, to keep the hot water system going, keep the television going. I watch the odd thing in the in the evening, which has been quite nice. Extra water on the side here, and we've also rigged in a, a a light system. So we've got four LED light bars, just to add a bit extra light. There's one in the toilet tent. There's one in the other tent on the side there. Uh, there's one on here, and we've got another another spare one as well. And that's just connected into the the 12 volt outlet on the side here. And we've also been making use of the, the barbecue, which has been quite handy. So we've also got this barbecue outlet on the side here. And we just plug in the little Weber portable barbecue. And then above here, we have the, the shower. And that's the hot water outlet, shower outlet on the side. So this one, this bush camp has the, the hot water system integrated in it. So it's a, a 10 litre Truma hot water system. 
we uh, we have the shower tent here and that's my hose just coiled up at the minute but literally i just plug that into the side and then we can we can have a shower this is this side's the shower and then on this side we have the portable toilet so toilet on one side shower in the other And then around the back here, we have the kitchen. Pop the light on there. And then of course we have the integrated couple of burners and the sink. So we've been running the, the hot water and uh, we haven't ha had the heating on this week, but uh, we could have had the heating on. We've got the, the hot water and the burners, and of course the barbecue running off the, the gas bottle in this cupboard. So we've got two two cap and gas bottles in here. We just swapped one of them over earlier on in the week, finished the bottle off and then onto, onto the second one. Pots and pans, bit of storage in the top here. And on the side here, you can see where I've plugged in the portable solar panel. So I've just wired that into the controller that's just in the back here. And then the little Anderson connector and round to the, round to the solar panel. So that gives me quite a bit, we've actually had quite a bit, even though it's raining right now, we've had quite a bit of solar power today, which has been good to top the batteries up. And then we've had a couple of days which have been quite grey and, and sort of rainy. So it just varies. Um, but, you know, there's enough there to keep to keep going for the week and keep everything powered. So what I've also got in here is a angle compressor fridge. So the fridge is 12 volts and mains powered, so it's not it's not gas, and uh, which means we need to have enough power to keep the the fridge going, and that just runs all the time. And because it's a compressor fridge, it's uh, in in the Explorer. This is the this is the upgraded fridge because it comes standard with the electric cool box, but uh, that uses more power. If you're going to be doing a lot of off grid camping, definitely worth upgrading to the to the compressor fridge. Also got the the ground sheet out, and this is the this is the mesh ground sheet that complements the the Oz tent fox wing on, and it's actually an Oz tent ground sheet, and this is the mesh one. Quite like the mesh one, you can get a, a solid one as well, but the mesh one means it's not uh, it's not slippy. Water goes through, and also if you're on a sort of sandy location, it's uh, the sand falls through, but it's really easy to clean, and um, it just keeps a nice little space for out of the wet grass. Around the, around the caravan. So that is our setup for the week. And don't think there's anything else really to show you. Do you think, Sarah? Is that it? So we'll be got a couple more days and then heading back down to Northumberland at the weekend. So thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, give us a give us a thumbs up. And you can check us out. Our website is www.funfitadventure. Code at UK. We have the, the Bush Camp model here, which you can see on the website, and we've also got a number of other models as well, including the, the Hero Campers, the Hero Ranger, and the, and the Hero Traveller. So thanks for watching.